Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to play Neo Geo games on your PSP or PSP Go using the MVS PSP emulator. So if you guys would like to follow along and get this as well, the first thing you want to do, make sure you have custom firmware installed and then scroll over and we want to go over to USB connection, press X, we need to go and connect our PSP to our PC and I will show you guys what to do next from there. So the link to the MVS PSP Neo Geo emulator will be in the description of this video. So all you guys want to do is go to that link, scroll down, and you want to find the download section. From here, we can just click on download from wololo.net, and it will download the zip file that we need. So once we've got the zip file, all we want to do is go to our downloads folder. Also keep in mind, this is compatible with every PSP, even the E1000. You just need a custom firmware. So let's go to our downloads folder. Let's just find it. We also need a Neo Geo ROM. Now the ROM should be in this kind of zip file format and if you double click on them they should have all of these bin files inside it's entirely up to you where you decide to get your Neo Geo ROMs from they're pretty easy to get anyway so get the zip file of the emulator right click select extract here then what you need to do is select our ROMs or you can have multiple ROMs it's entirely up to you but select your ROMs or ROM click on it right click on it go down to cut and click on that then double click on the folder choose what PSP you've got so if you've got a PSP slim or a PSP go choose the slim version if you've got one of the old PSP 1000s like me choose the fat version so we're going to go into this folder and we're going to go into ROM CNV folder and we're going to do right click and paste then we're just going to paste our ROMs in here what we need to do now is select our ROM and drag and drop it on ROM convert underscore mvs.exe this is going to convert our rom so it's able to work with the emulator on our psp so there you go it gives us this message please copy um, the catch file into the folder of psp games mvsp catch so we're going to copy it into there press any key to exit and there you go we've now got our rom and we've got our catch file so what we can do from here is just select both of these right click and copy go back go into the fat version or slim whichever one you want you really need to go into this this is the actual game file and as you can see we've got roms and everything so right click paste put your rom inside of this folder and your catch should be able to just stay on the route just like that so then what we're going to do we're going to go back we're going to select this right here, the whole like game folder, and we're going to put this inside of the games folder on our PSP. So just go onto the root, PSP, game, drag and drop it across into this folder. Um, the only really big thing about this is the games. The ROMs can be quite large in size, but emulator is quite small, only about 80 megabytes. So let's just wait for everything to copy across. And when it's done, I'll go back onto my PSP. I'll show you guys how to get it working and what the gameplay is like. So now back on our PSP, what we can actually do is go and start out the emulator and let's test if it works. So just scroll over to the game section, scroll down to your memory stick just like normal and here it is, we've got the M MVS PSP um, Neo Geo emulator. So let's just press X to go and start this up. So it's going to say Neo Geo emulator for PSP. As far as I know, 2.3.1 is the latest version. If I find a newer version, I'll link it in the description, but um, this is the latest one I could find. And here you go, we've got our ROMs, King of Fighters, and Metal Slug. I also copied this across because this is a very good classic game. And basically, when you want to launch your game, all you have to do is just press circle on your PSP, and then press circle to launch, and it's basically just going to load. Um, they take about 30 seconds to load, and I'll show you what, um, I mean they do look a bit glitchy so like right now it does this kind of like weird glitch thing but it does eventually just load up the ROM like that and the game is completely playable with sound and everything like that and we can just start the game here. There is also a text document um, in the zip file, I forgot to mention it, but it has every game that actually works. Pretty much every game um, works anyway, which is kind of cool. But yeah, this um, Metal Slug, was this Metal Slug 3 or 2? I can't remember, but it's one of the good ones. And um, yeah, you can also use the joystick that works perfectly fine with this. Um, as you can see, I'm killing these like crabs, I think they are, crab monsters. Also, if you press the home button, it will pause the game and we can actually bring up a menu. So you can change game configurations. If we press circle, on this and um, we can actually change the screen size so if we change it to is that one 
if one of them is full screen, it might be this one. And um, we can show the FPS counter as well if we press X to go back. Um, there's also key configurations, commands list, um, you can switch loads of stuff, you can even reset it. If you press right, you can go into the saves, so you can you know, save the game as well. Let's just go on to return to game right now, and there you go, this is the full screen. I don't know if it looks that good on full screen to be honest, I think it's probably better um, not full screen. But yeah, there you go, you guys get the idea. Sometimes you do get big lag spikes, especially on this game, if there's like a big explosion or something. Sometimes you might get... Um, so, you know quite a few lag spikes but yeah the game is pretty playable to be fair I haven't really noticed any problems with all the games I've been playing and um, yeah so that is pretty much it for this video this is probably the best Neo Geo emulator you can get over on your PSP if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one